It's no secret that we're currently experiencing a climate and ecological crisis. Coastal sand dunes are one of the most threatened habitat types in Europe for biodiversity loss. When healthy, they can be home to a vast range of amazing specialist wildlife, from lizards and toads to beetles and butterflies, orchids, fungi and birds. Many of these species, both plant and animal, are rare and especially adapted for life in a healthy sand dune system. A system containing a mosaic of environments with areas of bare sand pushed around by the wind for reptiles and insects to burrow in, with nutrient poor soils that support pioneer species and wildflowers, and with damp dune slacks often containing freshwater pools providing shelter and breeding habitats for amphibians. But many of our coastal sand dunes are currently in poor condition, threatened by a range of factors. Areas of mobile sand are becoming increasingly overgrown by vegetation or overtaken by invasive species. Their roots secure the sand and cause the loss of the bare sand dune habitat that many dune specialist species need to survive. This increase in growth and of organic matter, combined with nitrogen fertilisation from the atmosphere, is resulting in an increasingly nutrient-rich soil forming, which leads to even more scrub and vegetation growth. The dune specialist plants and wildflowers that need short grassland and poor, sandy soils are then being lost and with them, the insects and pollinators that need them are also disappearing. Dynamic Dunescapes is an ambitious conservation project which aims to rejuvenate up to 7,000 hectares of coastal sand dune system in England and Wales for people, for communities and for wildlife. The partnership is between Natural England, Plant Life, Natural Resources Wales, National Trust and the Wildlife Trusts and the project is supported by National Lottery Heritage Fund and the EU Life Programme. There are many different ways that we're working to combat sand dune stabilisation and to bring back some of the natural dynamic processes that our sand dune systems need for biodiversity in these coastal landscapes to have a flourishing future. In some places we're introducing grazing animals like cows and horses. These help to maintain a shorter, diverse grassland and to control scrub growth in a more natural way than using mechanical mowers, therefore creating microhabitats brilliant for many of our invertebrates. We're also removing invasive species like Rosa rugosa with volunteers and with machinery to help return the space that they've overtaken to our native sand dune species. To increase the availability of bare sand for wildlife, we're creating scrapes in areas that have become overgrown by removing the top layer of soil to expose mobile sand and create safe burrowing and hunting habitats. We're also creating or improving the condition of overgrown dune slack pools to open these spaces back up to things like orchids which like damp conditions and to amphibians that breed and shelter in the pools. To monitor our work, we've developed a training program, some resources and a citizen science app that allows our volunteers and site managers to work together to gather data across all of our work sites, looking at things like changes in biological diversity, plant cover, water table depth, and disturbance on the dunes. We're also working with local groups and schools to connect communities with their local dunes, to be inspired by the beauty and the diversity of life that can thrive in dunes, and to also help us ensure that we safeguard the dunes future as a refuge for wildlife and for people. To find out more, visit dynamicdunescapes.co.uk.